What I want to do today is connect our Typeform apps to OpenAI so that whenever a new entry is created, a prompt will automatically be created in our Google spreadsheet. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try and risk free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Typeform to trigger a prompt in ChatGPT, I'll need to use Typeform as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New Entry as my event, then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Typeform sees a new entry is created, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Typeform, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Typeform account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to fill out our trigger apps data. To do that, select the form you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop down menu. Next, click Send Prompt and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Typeform account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen, and then select View API Keys on the drop down. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the action apps fields. Under Prompt, you'll need to be specific on exactly how you want OpenAI to analyze your data. You'll want to type in a custom message doing that. I'm going to type analyze this data and then click form response as my placeholder, but it's important that you understand the question and specific analysis techniques you want to use for your prompt. Some examples of ways that we can analyze our data are natural language processing, topic modeling, sentiment analysis, and predictive analytics. Click test action and we can move on to our second action step. OpenAI will write our prompt, but we'll need a place to store it. Let's use Google Sheets. Click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and then type Google Sheets into the search bar once more. Click Create Spreadsheet Row and click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. First, select the spreadsheet and worksheet you'd like to use for your Zap. From there, the spreadsheet from our data will appear. I'll fill out the data accordingly. I'll select the questions I want to appear on my spreadsheet under the Questions dropdown and then select Response under Analysis. Then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new entry is created, a prompt will automatically be created in our Google Spreadsheet. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps and thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.